the staff individuals referenced uh, no longer work for the city. Uh, the only members of council who served at that time who are here now are Rob Weisgerber and myself. And I don't know about Mr. Weisgerber, what, what he knew, but I did not know that the finance director raised an ethical question about whether it be a loan or a grant given to the spouse of a sitting council member. Uh, and nowhere was there apparently any follow-up which could easily have been done with the Ohio Ethics Commission uh, requesting an advisory opinion. Uh, it appears that the ethical question which was raised was not answered by either the Ohio Ethics Commission or the law director of the city. So uh, no matter how noble someone's goals might be and how beneficial the outcome uh, of their endeavor might be, the fact of the matter is there is a serious ethical question when the spouse of a sitting member of council is getting direct subsidy and never was there any due diligence to follow up from an independent source. The finance director raised the issue and apparently it was uh, superseded. No, never was that matter brought to my attention. I don't know whether it came to Mr. Weisgerber's attention, but uh, in any case, I think that uh, uh, it just uh, further uh, issues, uh, raises issues that uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Sattel brought up at the last meeting that the uh, uh, farmers market has been treated very, very favorably by the city of Loveland and other than, and, and that, that's fine if there's the sentiment and the will of council to do that, but clearly when a professional in the organization raises an ethical question and just to have it totally ignored. 